Terrifying situation at a Cocoa Beach Park where police said that a man attacked and choked a woman inside of a bathroom. Investigators say it happened in Lori Wilson Park, a popular spot in Brevard County. West 2's Michelle Meredith explains what the suspect told investigators. Count one is a third degree felony of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. William Russell Jr. is facing charges of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and possibly more charges. It happened Tuesday about five in the afternoon. Cocoa Beach police say the victim was in this restroom at Lori Wilson Park when Russell came in, told her he had a gun, told her not to talk. Instead, she screamed. The report says Russell choked her, pushed her to the ground and started to take her bathing suit off. At some point, the suspect, though, heard men's voices. That's when he bolted out this door. The victim's boyfriend tried to catch him, but he got away. You're really not safe, unfortunately, anywhere. Some people we talked to were shocked, others were not. Are they scary? Yeah, it's, it's scary to think about because you just used it, and if we didn't have each other, I would not feel safe using it. Yeah, also, it's weird to like hear after we've done like gone in there, especially not being from here, that it's like something like that has happened. And you have to really be careful and uh, just be aware of your surroundings. At this point, Mr. Russell is a danger to the community and uh, there'll be no bond on count one. Police did interview Russell. They say he did not deny being in the restroom, but claimed the victim choked herself. The judge was not buying it and kept Russell in the Brevard County Jail with no bond. In Brevard County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News. Although Russell got away from the victim's boyfriend, police managed to track him down in Cape Canaveral.